It's time for our Seen and Unseen segment, where we explore the stories behind the headlines. And for that, we turn to Raymond Arroyo, author of The Wise Men Who Found Christmas. Ray, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are on a war path, aren't Boy, they? Boy, they sure are, Laura. In January, Harry's dropping that tell-all book, but this week, their Netflix documentary drops, which reveals much of their storyline, their truth. No one sees what's happening behind closed doors. There was a war against Meghan to suit other people's agendas. It's about hatred. It's about race. It's a dirty game. The pain and suffering of women marrying into this institution, this feeding frenzy. I realized they're never going to protect you. I feel like Laura. I'm watching an episode of The Crown there. Yeah, well, but Meghan Markle fun. didn't cry this much at Queen Elizabeth's funeral, okay? All they do is cry and cry. They're like the Amber Heard of the royal family. They hate what they can't quit. But it's always ugly, Laura, when you've got entitled stars who are talking to millions of people, they've got millions and millions of dollars, and they try to pass themselves off as the victim. In fact, tomorrow night, right here in New York City, they're receiving from the Robert F. Kennedy uh, Ripple of Hope Award for standing up against systemic racism in the royal family. <laughs> I mean, what? you can't make this stuff up. And, and you know, this is all time to, with the documentary and the book. Uh, and it's no wonder why Prince Charles won't take his calls anymore. But th there's more fakery and creepiness here than that Dahmer movie on Netflix. <laughs> this shot, purportedly showing Harry and Meghan hounded by the paparazzi, it's from the premiere of the last Harry Potter movie, Laura. No, it Before is they not. were even together. Yes, the photographers actually confirmed it. One of the Whoops. guys in the shot. And this shot is from when he was actually with another girl. He looks kind of cute there. Yeah, well, yeah. when you see the wide shot, he's got another girl next to him. <laughs> and, and now I guess Harry's going totally Hollywood. In a new video, he's actually dressed as Spider-Man. You can't make this up, Laura. Wait. <laughs> I mean, yeah, look. There he is. So uh, oh, maybe brother. he's auditioning. The Marvel Universe. He'll be the royal, Mr. Royal or something. Who knows? The, the only ripple, they're a ripple of tediousness and, and banality. I mean, this is the ripple award. What? Well, well if, Harry, it, if it's for duty, Laura, they're the ripple of nope, these two. But go now, on. I, so. I'm just glad they're sacrificing while jetting off from their Montecito home that they live in, okay? I'm, they're sacrificing with the regular people. All right, but Harry isn't the only one, right, dropping the mask. Joe yeah. Biden saluted the Kenny senator nominees. This weekend, I sounded like Biden there. Kennedy Center honorees this weekend. Well, sort of, Raymond. Yeah, well, George Clooney, you too, Gladys Knight, they all got perfectly fine teleprompter salutes from the president before the event. Then he got to Christian singer Amy Grant. Tonight, we celebrate a truly exceptional, and this is no, it's not an exaggeration, a truly exceptional group of artists. Group of artists. <laughs> we see faith and light. We see Amy Grant. And her Christian songs are played on repeat in millions of homes across America. Like the, like the greatest, she has, uh, she, I, I, I can't get over you, quite frankly. <laughs> like the greatest do, she writes songs from her soul. Like the greatest do, she writes songs from the soul. Laura, I tried to replay that about five times, even tried it with closed captioning. It says unintelligible. What's the over-under on Biden having ever heard any Amy Grant song at all? I don't think well, he's sitting around playing baby, baby. I mean, maybe I'm that, wrong. But. That just pained the elites in that room, didn't it, to hear that? You, you heard the clap, though, right, for her? It was one clap. If, that was bad. No, no, it's fair. Well, if Lawrence Welk had been, you know, one of the honorees, he would have had a frame of reference. Amy Grant, a little too uh, yeah, contemporary, contemporary for his taste. Remarkably, on the weekend that saw revelations about the FBI attempting to censor the Hunter Biden laptop story and its contents, guess who attended the Kennedy Center Honors with Daddy? Hunter Biden, Laura. He does not miss a major White House event. When a reporter asked him about the laptop, all they got was a smile and no response, just like the daddy. Uh, this administration, I guess, fails to see the problem of parading Biden family members around and on. using the White House, you know, for introductions. It looks like influence peddling, Laura. Well, 
Raymond, China needs to see him out and about. You know, China does not want to see Hunter, you know, kept under wraps. You got to actually see him milling about with all the billionaires and the Hollywood celebs yeah, well, that helps for China. For the people who missed it, Laura, at the at the Macron state dinner the other night, there was this moment that most people didn't he see. We played it, but I think a lot of people didn't see it. Watch this. He's brought to the table. I want to walk you by my sister, my best friend. Sure, but we, we didn't see her. I, I follow you. And then he took him up for the introduction. I mean, this is so blatant. Laura, before I go, uh, actress Kirstie Alley tonight, we learned from her children. She's died of cancer at 71. Uh, Golden Globe winner, Emmy Award winner, of course, cheers. Look who's talking. A great loss. And uh, many are coming mm. out uh, saluting her in her passing. Uh, God rest her soul and certainly our prisoners. Yeah, you know, Hannity Christy and I Alice talked Hannity. about it at the top. And, you know, she just... She just made you belly laugh. She had a great delivery and was a huge gift to us. And so we look at we look at that and remember her. What a what an amazing talent. Raymond, thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.